Hey there, I'm Mariana and welcome to Creation Odyssey. So today's video was requested by Daily Reviews. I've had all three of these characters for a little while, but with all the chaos that was going on, I did not get a chance to do any unboxings for them. So they're actually still in their boxes. And I'm gonna do one now, just to let you guys know if I won't necessarily buy Nendoroids or dolls on request, but you can always put in the comments below and ask if I am getting something in and if I'm going to review it. Usually if it's a newer Nendoroid or doll, I definitely will do an unboxing and review. If it's an older one, I usually don't do that just because, I don't know, I feel like there's been a ton of unboxings. I know mine would be different from everybody else's because it's mine, but even still. I digress. Can you guess by the train what I am unboxing right now? So today I am unboxing the crew from Harry Potter. So first let's start off with Harry. I think the Nendoroid is adorable guys. I think it has everything that spells out Harry Potter. I'm very excited to open him. I've got some really good things, ideas planned for the Harry Potter crew. It's gonna take me a minute to get together some things for photos and everything, probably next year, because I have another big, I have a couple other big projects planned already for this year. Um, but definitely gonna be doing like a full scale diorama for the Harry Potter crew in the future. So let's go ahead and open up Harry. Okay, so I got Harry from Ami Ami. Always pre-order the stuff. I do buy from Tom as well, Tokyo Taco Mode, but I end up getting newer things from Ami Ami, and then if I'm like hunting for a Nendoroid, I end up going to Tom. Because Tom tends to hang on to things just a little bit longer. Oh, this wasn't taped. Okay. So of course we've got Hedwig, which I think looks super cute. This looks like the Nimbus 2000. Oh my gosh, my brain is blanking, guys. Wow, I'm a horrible Hufflepuff. Actually, that's probably why I don't really care, because I'm a Hufflepuff. Shout out to all the Hufflepuffs out there. Best house. True story. Okay, let's go ahead and pull out Harry real quick. So I love his little glasses, of course. I do wish there were two pairs of glasses though, guys, because I wish there was a pair of glasses that had like the tape on it. Because I think that would be really fun play for like if you wanted to put Harry like in a not Hogwarts outfit. a lot of plastic on them. Jeebus. There we go. There we are. Harry is all put together. He doesn't have different arms like it's just this like straight arm business which oh wait does he have different arms wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute uh oh i'm dropping things all over the place so of course we've got a scar and but then there's stuff in the back here oh 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 well hey let's cut this out real quick I kind of didn't notice the stuff in the back. Although I you know he comes with all this other stuff. My goodness. Don't open the packages. Go away, paper. Go away. This is like, okay, there we go. All right, so then here's a little scarf. And one extra arm. 
Oh, and then there's a flying body for him to be able to fly. Hmm. Sorting hat. I love the sorting hat. But, you know, I... I... So, for those of you who don't know, there is a Harry Potter and Nindoroi doll coming out, and I really feel that maybe that was like an afterthought. Like they started off with the dolls and then someone's like, oh, hey, Harry Potter would actually do better in a doll. Which is totally right because he's only got, look, I can, I can hold my hands out and hug you. Like he doesn't have different arms, which is kind of disappointing other than these two. But these two are for holding a broom, sort of. So not a lot of like good play with the actual Nendoroid. But just to remind you guys, the Nendoroid dolls don't come with extra face plates. So it is, I would say, better to grab the actual Nendoroid and then sell off the parts that you don't want and put Harry on a Nendoroid doll body. I think that's just like a smarter choice. You know, all in all, I do, uh, because then you get the, you get all the extras. Where with the Nindoroid dolls, as we've seen, you don't. There's no extras. You literally just get the doll. I guess the extras are considered the clothes, which, I mean, okay, but still. So that's Harry and all his good stuff. Uh, I like Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. So I'm. How could I put it? I would be disappointed in this Nendo if the doll bodies weren't available. Just say it like that. If the doll bodies weren't available, I would be disappointed in this Nendoroid. Um, but since the doll bodies are available and they're coming out with the Harry Potter doll, which means they'll probably be selling the outfit separately as well, I will still be able to get him an outfit. Or I could make one, preferably probably just make one, or maybe buy one. Who knows what I'm going to do. But yeah, so there's Harry. Let's get these in here. There we go. There he is. Let's go ahead and open up Ron. Next, I've got his partner in crime, Ron Weasley. You can't really see, ugh, the glare is so terrible. The Ron is, is adorable. I think it's really sweet. I absolutely love that Ron came with a howler. I think that is probably just iconic in the movie. I was really excited to see it played out and brought to life. I think it's super cool. So let's go ahead and open up Ron and see what other things that he came with. So I gotta know, what house are you guys in? If you heard my little remark about the best house earlier, I am a Hufflepuff. Constantly rocking my Hufflepuff varsity jacket. Yeah, I do that. I'm that person. Proud, proud Hufflepuff. Okay, so here's Ron. Of course he comes with scabbers. And Ron only has two face plates versus three, which I feel he should have three. He does have some iconic like faces that he makes with within the movie. Um, like his confused face, I feel is just classic. Like he's constantly confused about what's going on. Especially in the first movie. Um, so I don't see why he only came with two face plates. But that's fine. That's what the Nindoroid Moore sets are for. It's all the extra face plates. So here's Ron. Again, he comes with these straight arms. I don't know, understand what the straight arm business is. But then if you look at the Fate Grand Order 
Arthur Pendragon prototype. His armor has like several like pieces to it and it, it moves. It's like a better a, a, a better Nendoroid in a sense. So for them just to have straight arms, it's kind of like eh. So there's Ron's broom. He does come with a howler. Look at that. I love that. And again, only one other face faceplate for him, which is just a little a little disappointment. I, pointing. I feel like there's at least one other expression of Ron's that they could have fit in there. And then on the under part, let's see. There we go. Oops. Come out. All right, so, and then we've got, again, he's got a flying position. If I can get anything out, Lord. So he's got the same like broom flying position. It's the broom goes, does the broom go like, oh, the broom goes in through here. Oh. Room flying position. Yeah. Again, I am very glad that they came out with the Nendoroid dolls for stuff like this because I feel like just overall, like both Harry and Ron, the bodies are very limited. Which I mean, most Nendoroids are. Like, let's not it's not mince words and such. Most Nendoroids are, you know, a little on the limited. They're, you know, they're disposable figures, but. So let's go ahead and check out Hermione. Last but not least, we have the smartest witch ever, Hermione Granger. I love, 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 love Hermione. And let's go ahead, let's just bring it out, all the Harry Potter fans. You know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm looking at. Why did Hermione come with a broom? It's an elephant in the room. If you have read the books, you know that Hermione actually does not like to fly. Like, doesn't like it at all. It's like a big thing in the books. So, not something so addressed in the movies. I had to go back and look in the movies. So it's a big, it's a big thing in the book. She does fly a lot. Uh, she does fly a broom a couple times, I think, but I mean, she really, she doesn't like flying. She doesn't like it at all. So the fact that she came with a broom, I just, I feel like whoever did her design at Good Smile Company was not a true Potter head. I'm just gonna throw it out there. I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. I don't think they really like did their research because had they done their research, they would know to stick her with, I don't know, like a giant stack of books or, you know, some other kind of prop. So I feel like putting her with a broom, while it does sort of make sense, um, I don't know, I don't know. Not very true to the character. So, elephant in the room, brought out. It's been said, let's go ahead and open up Hermione. All right, so, and now we've got Hermione. There she is, see, and she came with two face plates. That's so weird that Ron only came with one face, extra face plate. Does anybody else think that's weird? I think that's weird. I wonder why. makes me wonder, you know, especially with her coming with a broom, like how much research the artists actually do into characters before they create the Nendoroids. If anybody knows, like, you know, if the artists are doing extensive research or anything or what, please let me know. I would love to, I would love to know. I would love to know if they actually 
do like research or if they they're actual fans of the nendoroids they're creating or if it's just like they get assigned something like that would be that'd be interesting to know and it would make things make a lot more sense with some of the nendoroids that we do get Where did her arms go? Oh, they're right here. Sweet. Okay, so arms on. Again, she's got the straight arm pose. And something else that I'm I'm noticing with all the Nendoroids is their wands are attached in their hand. So that's Yeah, the, all their all their wands are attached, so that's again kind of a bummer because then you can't necessarily um, I don't know do a switch of play and dress other characters up as the Harry Potter characters and put the wand in their hand. I wonder why the wands are attached. So she comes with Crookshanks again, the broom thing. Let's look at her other two face plates. One's a frown, and one's a smirk. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not... I like the smirk. But I'm not too fond of the frown face. Like, it should be more annoyed. Way more annoyed. So, let's see what else she comes with. Looks like she's got three different sets of arms. She's got multiple sets of arms. Oops. Dropping stuff. So she does come with an extra set of hair, extra front piece for her hair. That's pretty cool. So you can do like an older looking Hermione. I'm assuming this is like to hold book, maybe? And then of course she's got the flying body. whole crew together and uh let's let's chat let's let's final results of how i feel about these guys okay so here's the whole crew all together final thoughts hermione's face plates should she should have like another face like this i the face plate i feel this one especially the straight face one is not expressive enough it doesn't scream hermione to me harry's face plates and things i think they're really on point and then ron I, he's missing a face plate like i feel he's always got his mouth gaping you know he's always like <gasps> like surprised about something i feel like mary poppins probably would have called him a codfish so I feel like that's a little bit of a missed opportunity for him to only have two face plates when he should at least have three. The wands being connected to the hands, not that big of a deal or annoyance, so to speak, but say you were to do a Nendo doll of these. Um, I don't know. I feel like it limits you a lot of what you could do with or with like the hands. I thought it was kind of weird that the hands were attached, the wands, excuse me, were attached to the hands because for all the Little Witch Academia girls, their wands all come out. So slight confused, slight annoyed about that. Hermione coming with a broom instead of like a giant stack of books or like a little mini library or something. 
that was also slightly disappointing. I feel like that's a missed, that's a giant missed opportunity as far as, you know, designing for like a specific character and their personality. So overall, I am slightly disappointed about the Harry Potter crew, but I'm not bummed that I got them or anything. I adore them. I like them a lot. I'm going to do lots of things with them. Not this year, but definitely next year. I've got dioramas rolling around in my brain. So expect more from them later on for sure. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought of the Harry Potter crew and also what house you are in. Like I mentioned earlier, I am Hufflepuff, the best house. You guys can hate all you want, but you know it's true. We are the best. Anyway, <laughs> don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're poking around and you like what you see, also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can get notifications to when new videos are posted. Till next time.